Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and I post weekly crafting and cooking videos here on YouTube. This week I'm back with block number eight of our video quilt along where I'm gonna teach you guys how to make what we call an autograph or a signature quilt block. So here's block number eight guys. This is what we'll be making today. You can see it's real simple, just squares, no triangles in this block. And the reason we're calling this an autograph or a signature block is because of the big open space you see in the center. Before you put the block together or even after you have just the finished block itself, you can have people sign or autograph in the center here with one of those permanent fabric markers or pens. So you can imagine that these blocks would make a great project for a baby shower, graduation, anniversary, weddings, things like that where you want to capture signatures and little messages. So let's start with the supplies we'll need and jump right into making block number eight. Okay guys, so this block is super easy to make. Once you have all your little pieces cut out, all you need to do is layer them up in the diagram just to get them ready for sewing. So the large rectangle goes in the center horizontally, then start layering all your pieces just like you see me doing here. Once we've completed these top two strips up here, what we're going to do is do the exact same thing on the bottom side of that large center rectangle because you're gonna mirror it. So basically you're gonna be making like a circle around that center rectangle with the little small dark squares. So those two, two of those little dark squares will go on each side of that center rectangle and then we'll be sewing that together. And then what we're going to do now, like I said, is just mirror those top two rows down here at the bottom. So just continue to do the same thing. So as usual, we're going to sew these up in strips and rows, but what I want you to note is that here in the center, you have to sew the two small squares together and then sew it to the center rectangle, okay? And then the rest of them you can just sew together because all the pieces are the same size. So I've sewed those together, and then here you can see I sewed these two small squares together first, and now you can see that they're the same size as that side, short side of that center rectangle. So now it's even enough for us to sew it together. So let me jump in here with a quick tip, guys. It's hard to get your seam allowances to go in opposite directions when you have so many units per row. So what I recommend you do is just press your seam allowances to any side. When you start to sew the rows together and you need one of these ends to interlock here, go ahead and force it. Meaning take one and put it so that it interlocks with the other. And don't worry about this twisted seam allowance that we have right here. All I want you to do is grab a sharp little pair of scissors and you're gonna clip that right there so that it's gonna lay nice and flat for us. Make sure you're not cutting into your actual stitching lines. Just clip a little bit, push it over so it lays flat and hit it with your iron. That's one of the ways I like to cheat while I'm quilting. And there's your finished block ready for some signatures. And that's all there is to making block number eight. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you come across this tutorial randomly, feel free to click right here where my hand is. I'll send you to the beginning of the playlist and you can follow along starting at block number one. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in two weeks when we're back with block number nine. We're almost done. If you enjoyed the tutorial, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. Remember, you can always subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button right there. And remember to upload your pictures of your completed quilt blocks on our Facebook page. I always love to see what you guys are out there making from the Crafty Gemini tutorials. Mm -hmm.